Then ended at 10 a.m. Eastern Eastern time in the U.S. this morning, and I ranked 23. And so I made the top 25 in the Silver League finally. Let me tell you, this was like so competitive till the end on so today's wednesday on monday when i stopped playing that night i was ranked 10 but then on tuesday i had to go into work in the office right and then i had a happy hour after work from 5 30 8 30 but i ended up staying out later with some friends until 10 30 so i didn't even get home until minutes to 11 so by when i got home my rank 10 I was all the way down to 34 and so I played and played for hours and I also had a brawl I had to do and um, it was intense I had a brawl I had to do um, and I had to get back up on the leaderboard right because I was ranked 34 so I played until like 3 a.m. I don't know how I did it I was nauseous it was crazy and when I went to bed I was ranked like 14 um, that was 3 a.m. I got up at 8. I had to go into work. So I, you know, I didn't play. I thought about playing like one more game, but it's so competitive and you can, you know, lose your spot by just one battle. So I thought it wasn't worth it. Like when I left um, to go to work, I was ranked 19. So my 14 went down to 19 by the time I left um, minutes to 9. So um, at 10, I made it to 23. So like I tell you, it was very competitive. Um, let me open my end of season rewards. You guys are seeing it the first time with me also. So I got the 4,000 DC, so that's great. So this is, um, I doubt they'll give me any more in this. Uh, oh, I had 82 or 83 chests. So I think this is the most chess I've ever opened, like ever. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's the first Jin O'Shaughness I've ever gotten in a chess. Whoa. I've always said, like, that's the one legendary card I've never pulled. Like, never pulled. And I finally did it. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. Um... Like, that's not too bad. So, I got a Jin O'Shaughness. I got two Jin Bilkas last season. Um, so, this is the only legendary I got this season. So, Jin O'Shaughness. Okay. I got a goal epic in one of my quests recently, though. One of my focus, daily focuses. I have an epic Jin Shuala. I have a pack. Another epic Uraeus. Um... Venari Crystal Smith Rare. I have a pack again. Another epic. Whoa. How many epics is that? One, two, three, I think. Three epics. Yeah. This this was solid. I think it was 82 or 83. When I close this out, we'll see um, who chest. Um, so this was the first time I was playing for silver chest. Because what happened the last two seasons, I was in I was in gold two seasons ago. And then last season, although I was playing in silver, because I was in gold the prior season, I was still playing for gold chess. So last season, I didn't really get many chess. I think I got like 50-something chess because I was playing for gold chess in the silver leagues. So it was a little difficult. So, yeah, let me see details. Hump, does it tell you how much? No, it doesn't tell you. But it was like 80 or 82. Um, I'll check on Splinter Share later. But um, yeah, so leaderboard, it was very competitive to the end. As you can see, oh, we have to go to last season. Since the season technically ended at 10 a.m. this morning, it's already new leaderboard fighting. As you can see, like the number one guy, wait, wait, like down to the end, he didn't even take number one. Um, Shnapoon has taken number one before. He's usually number two. So you can see like how competitive this was. Ignite is a great player. This Alt man, honestly, this was my first time seeing this player um, this season. I don't know if it's someone that came back or if they were playing in a different league before, but I'm not used to seeing um, this player till May. I'm used to Dra Dragon Rider, Kira, Nightingale, Albi, um, Immortal Gods. So I'm I'm trying to be how Albi is the top silver player for Immortal Gods. Like I'm trying to be the top silver player 
for my um, guild, Archmage Arius Disciples. So, yeah, like that's the goal. <laughs> um, Krill Crew, that's um, Luke's guild. I'm used to seeing this OMG SP1. He's usually on the top of the HGHS Splinter um, from the Hyper Splitter guild. I'm used to seeing that person. This person is on the same guild as Weiwei also. I'm used to seeing them. Marlboro, I'm used to seeing. Malfish, Maplelicious, Maplelicious. Yeah, I'm used to seeing that one. And W R R R I and Luanicia. Some of these names are a little difficult, but yeah, no, I'm so happy. Like I finally, like did my Splinterlands goal. I would have preferred it to be top ten, but still, I did it. That was my goal. I wanted to place in the top 25 of the silver league so i'm just gonna continue um sharpening my skills in this game um trying to climb this leaderboard as high as possible i do envision some point that i would eventually um move on to the gold league and i'm thinking as the market crashes and cards become more cheap i think i'm gonna have the opportunity in the future to upgrade my cards for a price that i think is reasonable so i'm looking forward to that but for now i'm just gonna keep pushing forward trying to get higher on the silver leaderboard it is very competitive and now that we have modern and wild now i have to relearn you know my strategies without using alpha and beta cards because that's what was getting me in the top 30 these last few seasons is because um like last season i was 29 um i started renting alpha and beta cards like you it's like you just had to do it because a lot of these guys that you're up against when you look at their power, 334220, like that one isn't too bad. But when you look at these top guys, right? Like, um, when you look at like Albi, his 1.5 million power. You know, um, you look at Kira, 774,000 power. Um, they have like, you know, Alpha, Beta, Duntame. It Like, the competition is stiff. Dragon Rider, 1.7 million power. You know, like some of these folks, they've been battling, you know, two years ago. So I'm like up against that type of competition, you know, and like my power is not there. I rent cards. Um, so I rent on Tame and Beta and, and Alpha cards to help me get to the top because to be honest i used to be really good just with the chaos cards there was a time i after chaos came up and i maxed my cards i had stopped renting cards but i found like i couldn't break 50 like i could break top 100 easy but it was like breaking the top into the top 50 it was really hard and so i i didn't break into it until i until i started like renting on team cards like um yodin and byzantine kitty and um llama and cron once i did that easy to get into the top 50 but then it was like for leaderboards top 25 it's like you need something even extra because you're going against these folks who have you know four hundred thousand power you know silver league you only need like seventy thousand power but besides the point if you just with chaos cards you know, it's very difficult to get to the top with just chaos cards. You you needed the other cards, right? So look at this. This person's been playing since October 2019. Um, so you need those cards because this basically was wild format in order to break, you know, the top of the top. So I was renting the cards and my strategy was my goal cards, I would rent out for income and then um so that i can use the dec rent rental income from that to rent the cards i needed to play competitive to get into the the top 25. um originally i used to break even or still make money when i was only renting on team cards but when i went all out and i started renting alpha and beta cards because i was like top 50 isn't enough i need to get top 25. um a lot of times my rentals were more than the rental income i was bringing in you know, um, in the last two seasons that I've done that. But it's, you know, I really enjoy this game and it was fun to finally break my goal, 
And um, my year anniversary playing this game is coming up, I think, in like a little over two weeks. Yeah, today's the 13th. Yeah, I, I, I downloaded a game like August 5th, but I didn't start playing it until like August 8th. So, um, and I learned about the game in July, and I always like regret that I didn't buy the spell book and play the game exactly the day I learned about the game in July because it made so much difference in that one month in card prices, the dice. Like I remember when I started, dice ran out the end of August or was it the first week in September, the last week in August. And I was scrambling for DEC. Like I didn't even know how to use Hive Engine and buy DEC. So I was getting DEC from playing battles and getting chess. And at the time, we had those, um, you know, those extra credit, the quest chess, right? Where you could buy extra chess from your quest. And so I was getting, like, chess that would have, like, 2,000 DC in them. Because before, I guess, that used to be the Untamed packs. And so that's how, that's how I was able to get my two first dice packs. And then they sold out. You know, like, I was trying to hustle. But if I had just known how to use Hive Engine... Um, you know, cause I'm not like a big crypto person on those other exchanges and stuff. I was like plain vanilla Coinbase type person. So I didn't understand that stuff, but, um, I always felt like just that one month would have made a difference if I understood what I was doing. Like, I didn't even know about leveling up cards. Um, it's like the learning this game. There was like a, 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 a sharp learning curve. Like you, you had to figure out things quick because prices were just going insane so quickly. Um, so I don't know, like thinking about it, it's really cool that my year anniversary playing this game is coming up and I'm still, I'm still excited and um, really enjoying playing this game. And I think having like goals, like trying to get in the top 25 too, like kept me very interesting because sometimes i've seen people become bored people have left the game even some of the people i've spoken to in the comments here have left come back and it's like i think the reason why i i stayed because it's like i i, I kept having goals in the game that i wanted to achieve and for the last like two three months this was one goal i wanted to achieve and something kept happening like I went on vacation twice, so I missed like a lot of days. Like one time I missed like 10 days, you know, like something kept happening or I would advance up to the next level, like to diamond with some delegation. So then I would drop in gold. So then I had to wait another season to go back into silver. So, you know, I had like little things that happened, but I'm glad I finally did it in the last three months. Like it was around, um, it was I think it was around the end of March is when I was just like, you know what? I want to make leaderboards. Like, I think I got it now. Because around March is when I finally, like, maxed my deck for silver. And um, and in max, when I say max, um, I have every card except Dr. Blight. I do not own not one Dr. Blight. And I would need three to be able to say I have a fully max Chaos Legion deck for silver. Um, at this moment, I don't because I don't have Dr. Blight. I rent Dr. Blight. I do not know if I would ever buy Dr. Blight. I'm pr I'll probably just continue renting because I don't think his price is ever going to come down to parity, like how you can get some of these legendary cards for a dollar and change because those cards have such a higher print rate, like the reward cards and even the Chaos Legion, the remainder of the legendary cards, their their um, print rates are so high compared to Dr. Blight. I just don't think... It, I just don't think the affordability of Dr. Blight will ever be there. Um, but who knows? Maybe sometime in the distant future. <laughs> but maybe at that time I won't care anymore because it will be Riff Watchers or Rebellion or something. But yeah, sorry this video was so long. Um, I was just so happy that I finally made leaderboards. And, you know, that was just my thoughts and how I felt about everything. So I think I'm going to take a break for the next two days. As you can see, my capture rate went down really low because I was trying really hard um, last night um, to get leaderboards. So probably leave the game for a day or two. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>